So if you practice with me, you know that I emphasize core strength a lot because it's so incredibly important for the health and stability of your spine and for your overall health and wellness. Today's practice is a fantastic little workout to keep your core healthy and strong and looking good. Let's start in a comfortable seat with a calming breath exercise. And you might think, well, why start a core strength class with calming breath? And the answer is because this breath gets you out of here and into your body. So you're more tuned in to what's happening in your body. That's exactly where you wanna be in any strengthening or energizing practice. It's also really good for your nervous system. So it's super easy. All we do is inhale for a count of four through the nose. We hold for four and we exhale for six through the nose. We'll do that four cycles. I'll guide you through it and then we'll just sit for a few moments in stillness, okay? So sit up nice and tall, open across the heart. Let your shoulders relax from your ears and close your eyes. You can place your hands on your knees or anywhere they feel comfortable. And let's take a great big breath in through the nose. Really fill your body with breath. Open mouth, exhale, relax and soften. And inhale through the nose for two, three, four, and hold, two, three, four. Exhale through the nose, two, three, four, five, six. Inhale through the nose, two, three, four, and hold, two, three, four. Exhale through the nose, two, three, four, five, six. Inhale through the nose, two, three, four, and hold, two, three, four. Exhale through the nose, two, three, four, five, six. Last one, inhale through the nose, two, three, four, and hold, two, three, four. Exhale through the nose, two, three, four, five, six. Come back to an easy, natural breath in and out through your nose. And just let yourself relax. Continue to sit tall, but relax across your forehead and brow. Relax from your eyes to your ears. Let all the muscles of your face soften and relax your jaw. down into the neck and shoulders. And place both hands over your heart. Let's say to ourselves some words of affirmation and kindness to guide us on our path today. I'll say these words out loud. You repeat them to yourself silently. Today, I set myself on a path of love and compassion. Today, I will appreciate every opportunity to learn, to laugh, and to love. Today, I will feel more connected to the power and the truth of who I really am. And today I will find strength and courage to make this world a happier place. Sit for another moment with these words in your heart. Exhale, blink your eyes open. Bring your hands to your knees and let's take some big spinal circles rolling the upper body around the hips nice and easy and gentle and taking some big full deep breaths as you move there's no real technique to this right you're just bringing some mobility and space into the hips and low back and and breath into the body so move in a way that feels good in your body Make the circles as big or, or as small as you want. Take it in the opposite direction. I like to close my eyes here and just roll around and 
joy. As you inhale, sit up nice and tall, stay in your little comfortable seat. Bring your hands back behind you, just behind the hips. Push into the earth and feel that push lifting up through the heart. So the heart comes forward and up, the shoulders come back and down from the ears. A little squeeze of the shoulder blades behind you and then let your head fall back gently. Continue to push into the earth and lift up through the heart. Opening your heart, opening the upper back, lengthening the spine. So good first thing in the morning. As you inhale, very gently and slowly lift your head. Sit up nice and tall. Exhale, gently turn your head to the left. Turn back to face forward and turning to the right. Turn to face forward and slowly bring your chin to your chest. Roll the right ear to the right shoulder. Chin to chest, left ear to left shoulder. Chin to chest once again, lift your head, blink your eyes open. Let's give ourselves some breath hugs. As you inhale, open your arms wide. Exhale, wrap yourself up in a great big hug. Let's do it with the breath. You know these are one of my favorite things to do in the morning. You know this if you practice with me <laughs> and you know it now. Just welcome breath. With each breath, imagine you're breathing in sunlight and blue sky and just all the possibilities of a new day. As you inhale, sweep your hands up to the sky. Big breath, open mouth, exhale, bend the elbows, push your heart forward and gently squeeze the shoulders behind you. And blink your eyes open. All right, make your way to your back for our first little core adventure. And just watch and listen here um, as I demonstrate and talk you through it, and then we'll do them together. So the first one is a variation on crunches. With the knees bent, lift the feet, cross your ankles. Place the hands over your heart, lift your head and shoulders. Now we're gonna do some little crunching motions here. The key is every time you come up, you're focusing on your belly button, your navel, drawing in toward the spine, pushing into the earth. When you do that, draw the navel into the spine, it engages your core muscles and that is what lifts you up. We're not flinging the head, we're not rat rocking, it's all in the core and the motions are little baby, right? I'm barely moving here, it's all coming from here. Okay, here we go. Lift your feet, cross your ankles, lift your head and shoulders, hands over the heart, and drawing the navel into the spine, we pulse up for one, two, three, little baby movements, four, navel into the spine, five, six, starting to feel it, seven, eight, just do as many as you can, nine, 10, come down, hug your knees into your chest, little rock side to side, excellent work. Okay, one more set, cross the ankles, hands over the heart, lift the head and shoulders, navel into the spine. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, navel into the spine every time. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Come down, hug your knees into your chest, rock side to side. As you inhale, extend your legs long, reach your hands overhead, great big stretch. Exhale, just relax your whole body for a moment. And now blink your eyes open, interlace your hands behind your head, keep your legs long. We're gonna work with a variation of leg lifts here, really effective for the deep core muscles. Okay, lift the head and shoulders so you're, again, you're crunching the abs. And again, focus on navel drawing into the spine, all the action comes from here. All we're gonna do is keeping the left foot on the ground, lift the right foot a couple inches, bring it down. Lift the left foot, bring it down, that's one. We're gonna do 10, right? And left for two, keep the head and shoulders lifted, right? And left for three, just do as many as you can, right? 
and left for four, right and left for five. You're not yanking on your head here, right and left for six. This little lift is coming from the abs, right and left for seven, right and left for eight, right and left for nine. A little shaking is okay. Welcome it, right and left for 10. Beautiful work. Hug your knees into your chest. A little rock side to side here. Good, good stuff, my friends. Okay, one more, and this is called set point exercise. For this, your head and shoulders stay on the ground. Um, keep the knees bent and bring the knees stacked right over the hips and lift the shins so that they're parallel to the floor, so they're not angled up. They're not angled down, they're parallel to the floor. Now, for this one, I want you to place your hands on your belly, near your belly button. And as you push the feet forward, just push the feet forward an inch or two and feel these ab muscles turn on. Draw the navel into the spine and push your low back into the mat so you feel the whole low back pushing into the mat, right? The belly becomes concaved as you Bring it in, draw the navel into the spine. Push the feet forward another couple inches and feel it increase, right? Keep pushing the low back into the mat. And just extend the legs out as far as feels reasonable in your body. And breathe, don't stop breathing. <laughs> Keep drawing the navel into the spine, pressing the low back into the mat. We're feeling it together, we're in this together. This is so good for your core, your deep abs, for your spine, for your whole body fitness. Work it with me. Breathe with me for five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, knees into chest. Fantastic work, my friends. Little rock side to side here. Beautiful job. And now roll to your right side. Push yourself up to a seat. We got one little nugget left and dun, 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 it's forearm plank, but don't let forearm plank be a scary thing, right? It's a joyful thing, <laughs> right? Because we do it together and it's joyful. So come into plank position, extend the legs back behind you. And again, draw the navel into your spine, firm the belly. You also want to engage your thighs and your butt muscles. So firm the belly and the glutes, but don't squeeze just gently. And then come back, come down rather to your forearms and elbows. Get the butt nice and low. So your body is in a long straight line from the crown of your head through the tailbone, through the heels. Keep drawing the navel in toward the spine to engage those beautiful core muscles and push into the earth here with your hands, push with your forearms and elbows, push. As you do that, you'll feel the upper back start to engage. You'll feel all the little muscles around the ribs and the side of the abs, the obliques engage and just breathe into all that goodness and keep breathing and hold for five, four, three, two, and one. Lower the hips and thighs, untuck the toes. We'll end with a little sphinx pose here because it's so good for your spine. So inhale, lift the upper body. As you exhale, grip the mat with your hands and push your heart forward as you imagine pulling the mat towards you. Draw the shoulders back and down from the ears. Press gently into the tops of the feet and breathe. Exhale slowly, lower. Sink your hips back to your heels. Keep your knees close together, a little bit closer than hip distant apart. Little variation of child's pose here. And lay your belly on your thighs, hands forward. Let the forehead come down. Breathe and relax. Sit back to your heels. Sweep your legs around in front. What do you say we take a shavasana to integrate this beautiful practice.
send breath and movement into your fingers and toes, your wrists and ankles. Inhale, reach your hands overhead. Stretch, feel those beautiful ab muscles stretch. Exhale, knees into chest and roll to your right side. Push yourself up to a seat, the top of your mat, and bring your palms together at your heart. Close your eyes. We raise our thumb knuckles to the point between our brow, and let's bow to one another in light and love. Namaste. Thank you for sharing that practice with me. And if you didn't know, this class is part of a free 30-day morning yoga challenge. It's just 15 minutes a day, and it will make an incredible difference in your health and well-being. And if you're not already signed up for this challenge, I would love for you to join me. Just click the first link in the video description below and sign up. It's totally free. And if you are already enjoying this challenge with me and you're enjoying my classes, then I think you would really love the David O. Yoga app. You'll get hundreds of classes and programs, including this 30-day challenge, ad-free, all designed to help you develop a safe, effective, and consistent yoga practice that you really enjoy and that you look forward to every day. Just click the second link in the video description below to download the David O. Yoga app. It'll help you get so much more out of your yoga practice.